joining us today for this week's entertainment panel. And this is actually going to be a two-parter entertainment panel. So this is a big thing happening here. And of course, what we are speaking on, this is some big news that's been happening. Marvel, of course. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. We need these two parts to be able to speak on this. So yeah. starting off, thank you so much for joining us today, Abby. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. Always lovely to have you in here. We're going to be speaking on starting off with, the, of course, San Diego Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. We have a new look at the She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer. Yeah. So big thing about this is that the CGI definitely looks a lot more updated, yeah. which I think a lot of people were very happy about to see. Um, shows a lot more of, I think, you know, with Bruce Banner kind of training Jennifer Walters, mm -hmm. sh training her a lot more, seeing how much more involved he's going to be. Uh, shows a little bit more Wong in it as yeah. well that I think everybody was excited to see. Everybody loves some Wong. And, uh, you know, it shows even the fourth wall breaking of, yeah. like, her looking back. I think a lot of people were like, oh, yes, finally we get a little hint of what that's going to have all involved with the wall breaking because mm -hmm. we all knew She-Hulk was going to have that involved. So I think the trailer looks very interesting and I'm glad we're able to actually see a little better with the CGI of it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. The CGI looks a lot better. She looks like Bruce does um, because obviously his um, CGI was already established. So that was super mm -hmm. easy just to throw in. Um, we get a little more glimpse of what to expect uh, at her law firm. They are creating like a kind of a section for superheroes that need lawyers. And obviously her being She-Hulk, she is going to be running that. And yeah. like you said, we saw the fourth wall break a little bit, which is nice because that's who she is in the comic book. She mm -hmm. breaks the fourth wall and I'm very excited to see how they do that and what that looks like. But I like that we got just a little glimpse into it. Yeah. I love that Wong is in it. I love Wong. He's such yeah. a great character. So the fact that he's going to be in it as well. And they did this trailer is a lot more promising than the first one for sure. And it's really exciting to see that Marvel's got some good series still continuing on that yes. we can all enjoy. But, you know, moving on, there's a lot more yeah. to speak about with what was revealed at Comic-Con, of course. Uh, revealing with that uh, Marvel has revealed Phase 5, Phase 6 crazy that six even got brought up yep. you know like there's so much happening with phase five already starting off with the whole lineup of what to expect yeah and then of course with phase six like i'm mostly excited with those two new avengers movies mm -hmm. that they're saying they're going to be concluding that phase with so let's get a little bit more i guess into phase five though and see what was really on the lineup. Yeah, so th this saga is called the Multiverse Saga. That's yeah. what they're calling fi uh, phases five and six, which is fitting because we got a glimpse of the multiverse with Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and then before that with Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm -hmm. So, and then even before that with Loki as well, at the end of Loki with Kang. Um, but yeah, so we have Secret Invasion, which is a series that is coming out um, in spring of next year, and that's with Nick Fury, you know, and it's following the scrolls invading Earth, and they are imitating superheroes so it's really it's going to be interesting to see who's a scroll and who's not a scroll yeah, because finally uh, it, that's going to it's going to be very surprising and that's going to be exciting and then we also have ant-man and the wasp quantumanium coming out february 17th of next year that's exciting mm -hmm. we're going to see cassie lang suit up um, as well. So she's a teenager. She's finally going to be Scott's partner because yes. we got a glimpse of her wanting to be his partner in Ant-Man and the Wasp. So that's going to be exciting. And we're also going to get a very a deeper look into Kang because he is going mm -hmm. to be the villain of that film. So I'm very excited for that. And then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 yep. coming out May 5th, 2023. And it's going to focus on Rocket's story and his background. So that's going to be interesting. It's going yeah. to get a little bit emotional because we're obviously he was stolen and he was experimented on, and you know he was changed and he was turned, and we kind of got a glimpse of that in um, the first Guardians. So that's going to be excited. And James Gunn did confirm that this will be wrapping up the Guardians story. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting how they deal with that. Yeah. Then we have Echo series coming out summer 2023. That's going to follow uh, my, uh, Hawkeye's Maya Lopez. Um, that's going to be interesting. All the things that she's caused or the chaos that she's caused, it's going to come back to her. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be fun to see how, how that happens. Really and excited for Echo. I like her character a lot, so I'm really excited to expand a bit more on there. Yeah. yeah. And then we have Loki season two, summer 2023. That's going to come out. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. We don't have too much information on it, but it, we're going to see some more variants. And yeah. then Blade is coming in theaters November 3rd. Mahershala Ali, I'm so excited yes. for it. I love him in anything that he does. He's fantastic. And mm -hmm. I think, 
he's going to d be fantastic. And a nice addition to yeah. welcome in to the Marvel world, baby. And we yeah. don't really have a plot, but there was a Blade movie back in the 90s, I think, with Wesley Snipes yeah. as Blade. So it's going to be interesting to see how Marvel takes it. Um, and then Ironheart, solo series, fall 2023. We are going to get introduced to Riri Williams in Wakanda Forever. And she takes on the Iron Man mantle, but makes it her own and becomes Iron Heart. Um, and it's going to be interesting how she takes on that Iron Man mantle and makes, yeah. it, make her, makes it her own with already just becoming Iron Heart instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited for that. Agatha Coven of Chaos coming out winter of 2023. Let's go. Let's we don't go. know too much about it. Mm -hmm. um, they did change the name to Coven of Chaos. Um, you got to love seeing more Agatha. I think uh, the song is still engraved in everybody's yeah. skulls. And, and Catherine Hahn really blew that character yeah. away, I think, again. Mm -hmm. Daredevil, Born Again, Spring 2024, 18-episode first season. Yes. That's the exciting part. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start... Uh, Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onfrio, mm -hmm. they're reprising their roles as Matt Murdock and Wilson Fisk. What I, one of my most exciting ones coming out, Captain America New World Order film. It's going to be the fourth Captain America movie. Theaters, May 3rd, 2024. We're going to see Sam yeah. Wilson as Captain America, even in that title, New World Order. It's a new world. He is Captain America. Yes. And I think this is going to... Honestly, for all the haters out there, yes, it's coming. Yes, yes. This is I confirmed. Know. He is Captain America now, and so I'm very excited for that. Thunderbolts, new movie, mm -hmm. theaters July 26, 2024. That's going to be interesting. Bunch of anti heroes becoming a group. Fantastic Four was also confirmed, which people are very excited about. Mm -hmm. November 8, 2024, and then the final two Avengers movie. The first one, Kang Dynasty, the Kang Dynasty, yeah. May, May 2nd, 2025, and then Avengers Secret Wars, which was also hinted at November 7th, 2025. Oh, we are set for the next few years. I'm very excited for it, and I'm so glad we are able to speak yeah. about this because we had a lot to talk about. But yeah. that's all the time we have for part one of this awesome entertainment panel. Uh, stay tuned because we will be getting a little bit more into Wakanda Forever. Yes.